Okay, what is cooking for dinner tonight in the Beko kitchen with Mark? How are you, Mark? Good, good. good. Right, we've got a classic Chinese dish on the menu tonight, Yum. beef chow mein. Who doesn't love that? We've got uh -huh. rump steak there, we're going to marinate it, we're going to make a quick sauce, and you've got these beautiful uh, glass noodles there, some spring onions, and, you know, job done. It's going to be so simple, I'm going to show you how to do it a bit later. Right, so you don't need to go to the takeaway, you know all the no. ingredients, you can make it's, it yourself at home. It's going to be faster to make it yourself. And tastier, I'm sure. And tastier. You're great to have you with us, and we are in the Beko kitchen, and Mark, you've got the secrets to making a classic Chinese takeout dish today, which is good. It means you don't have to go to the takeout, you can make it yourself at home. So how do we do it? Let's get going. Right, so really easy. So beef chow mein, so obviously mm. you need some beef, so I've got a nice uh, slice of rump steak here. Nice. That's nice and affordable too. Yeah, really affordable. Really nice piece of meat as well. Um, great for stir fries because you cut it nice and thin so it's nice and tender, but it still gives you that you know nice bit of texture uh, and meatiness in the right. stir fry as well. So just trim any fat off. And then we're just going to do it into some nice little strips, so it's going to cook really fast. And then as I'm chopping this up, you can make a little marinade for that. So okay, good. Grab a bowl there. Mm -hmm. Right, and then we've got some ingredients on here. So these four ingredients. <laughs> You're going to test me, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to oh, test yeah. you. <laughs> okay. Mm, so what's that? Rice vinegar wine? <laughs> uh, yeah, Chinese cooking wine. Okay, oh, well, that's yeah, close. Yeah, no, I'll give you that one. That's all right. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Uh, this must be all sesame oil. Yep. Cool. Oh. Yep, there you go. That would be uh, soy sauce. Yep. Yep. Okay, okay here's, here's the oh. test now. So you got one more ingredient. Mmm. Is that like an oyster jelly? Yeah. Oh, well, oyster sauce, yeah. Oyster sauce. There <laughs> oh, you go. Very good. Nailed very good. it. You see, it's all that experience working with you. There you go. There you so go. give it a good mix up. So this is going to give you a, a really quick marinade, but it's going to give you a nice punch of flavour into the beef. So beef sauce sliced nice and thin. I've got some boiling water on there. I'm just going to pop the noodles in and start cooking those as we get everything ready, and then it's all going to come together in the last minute. Cool. And does, does it matter what sort of noodles you use? Or? Uh, no, I mean, you can use... Yeah, obviously, don't use spaghetti. Right. It's like a different... Um, yeah, country. <laughs> <laughs> but no, use some egg noodles, uh, rice noodles, whatever you want. OK, cool. Can you use udon noodles? Uh, well, if, yeah, if you want to do some fusion. OK. Oh, it's okay. Japanese. Oh, OK. But yeah, right. no, you could if you want. I mean, Just listen you, you know, to Mark, don't listen to me. You, you're going to eat it. <laughs> right, so we're going to marinate that. So, you know, we've got some good flavours in there, so it's not going to take long to marinate that. OK, cool. All right, so pop that to the side. Yep. We're going to make a little quick sauce now. Um, so in here, we've got some light soy, some dark soy, and a little bit of sugar. So you can whisk all those together. OK. Dark I'm going to peel soy. an onion, and then once we slice the onion... Light soy. And the beef's been marinated. We're just going to I'm going to show you how fast this is to uh, stir-fry. A little bit of sugar. So this is the sauce, what you've got for um, to finish the dish. Just and how long would you person. like to leave the beef for? Oh, I mean, you can you can go straight away. I like, want okay. you ready to go. You know, you, I mean, you've got that, you've got soy sauce and oyster sauce in there, so, you know, you've got all those flavour makers already. Cool. But, um, you know, even 20 minutes, you know, will benefit. You'll get some nice flavour from that. And splashing it around the Beko kitchen. Easy to clean, though. That's the great thing with Beko kitchens. <laughs> Always easy to clean. OK. Right, so you got your sauce ready. I've yep. got a little bit of corn flour here. I'm just going to pop a little bit of water in there. OK. Gonna make it like a little slurry. There's another chef in the house at the moment. Brett McGregor, I'm a bit nervous. You know? uh, yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Actually, you should be up there cooking. Uh, yeah, I was thinking that. You probably should. <laughs> All right, so we've got that ready to go. And, and this is the key about, um, you know, stir fries and, and making it really fast is like having all your mise en place and having everything ready to go. Okay, so I've got cool. the wok on, it's nice and hot. I'm going to yes. slice some onions here. Okay. And then when we come back, we're just going to, we're going to stir fry it in real time. I'm going to show you how fast it is. Brilliant. Okay. And of course we put the recipes at thecafe.co.nz. You can go back and have a look at yesterday's recipe if you want and all the others are there. Uh, and we'll come back and show you the second part of this very soon, especially the sauce, which is very important in this chow mein. It's time to get this chow mein together. So so we've got the first part done, Mark. Brilliantly right. executed by moi. Yeah. Uh, now, the second part. Right, so we've got a wok on here. We've got some oil in that. It's yep. really, really hot. Oh, and that's yeah, what you want. You want a nice, point. That's good. Nice hot wok. Right, so carefully put the beef in there. I'm going to stir fry the beef first. OK, cool. Just be careful of the oil. Yeah, that's it. So real good sizzle. Keep stir frying it. Toss it around. OK. So nice and hot, you'll seal all those flavours in. And then once the beef sort of, you know, goes brown after a minute or two, we're going to tip the beef out because we don't want to overcook it. It's not going to take long to cook at all. So keep moving it around. Yeah, keep moving it around. You can see it's starting to cook now. Oh, it smells great too. Now have a look at our noodles. Nice and soft now, so they're ready to go. So we're just going to pop them when we're ready into uh, the char mein. So another 30 seconds, but you can smell all those flavours sort of mm. coming out as well, can't you? Beautiful. Really I good. Know, and I have a tendency to move things too much. Can you ever move meat too much no, no, in the pan? No, no, because it's, 
first you flying, so moving. that's what you've got to do. Sometimes it's good. <laughs> it's, it's very simple, this cooking stuff. So. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Okay, okay, so you can see it's all cooked, right, so get the, uh, take, take the beef out, yeah, that's okay, really good. Okay, cool. So literally, that's, that's all you want to cook it. We're going to add it, we're going to re-add it, and we're going to make the sauce around the beef and the noodles and everything. So it will, well, I'll probably cook about another sort of 30 seconds to a minute or so, so, you know, if it's if it's still a little bit under for you, it will get cooked a little bit more. Okay, right, cool. back on. Back on, right. back on, he says. A little bit more oil in there, just a okay. small splash. Yep. All right, got some onions, so he's going to stir-fry them as well. Everyone at home was probably thinking, Mike, that's supposed to be a small splash, but have you seen Mark do his small splashes? <laughs> <laughs> Can I see me do butter? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, we have actually we have no butter today. Oh, Look at that. I know, that's, that's, that's the worst thing about Asian cooking. There's no butter in it. What's, what's happening, Mark? <laughs> OK, cool. Right, so just going to stir-fry them a little bit. Nice, and a little bit of flavour left over from the uh, marinade on the beef too, which is quite yeah, nice. That's it. Yeah, that's it. So you, you're building up all these flavours as well. Um, you still want a little bit of texture in this onion, so you only want to cook it sort of like a minute or so, just so it uh, slowly starts to soften. Mm -hmm. Right, going to take the noodles out. Noodles are going to go in now. Yep. Right, toss that around. Can you do it with the... Uh, this way? Or is yeah, it too oh, yeah. hard? Oh, oh look oh, at you. Yeah, there you go. You've been practising last night. <laughs> That's it, so if you're going to do that, that's fine, but just do it a few times and get it back on the gas, because the more you do it off the gas, you're going to lose the heat. I see, right. There's a Good tip, point. thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Right, now the sauce, what you've beautifully like made. Off, Matt, you know. I know, yeah, sorry. Yeah. I ruined it for you. So sauce goes in there now. So yep. remember, your noodles are hot, your onions are soft. I'm put the beef in there as well. All those juices as well go in there. You can see bringing it all together. Well, Tiny that? bit of the cornflour mix, corn keep stirring it, keep stirring it. Don't muck it up, Mike. It's hard to mix the beef in with the noodles, though. How do you separate that? Let's come in, it's noodles and beef. Okay. <laughs> Stop asking stupid questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. The and real Mark, you... the real <laughs> Mark comes out on a Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> End of the week. <laughs> But you, but you can see how fast this is, because yeah. you're, you're nearly ready, and I'm not even chopped the spring onion. Well, hurry up, <laughs> chef. <laughs> Jeez, you're ruining my there dish. You go. Spring onions go in. Very stir last it. minute. Yeah, right. stir it, toss it around. It's another 20 fry. seconds, and that is good to go. Like, look at that. Brilliant. Beautiful, full of flavour, really fast, oh. and you couldn't do that in the time you had to go out, get in the car, go to the Chinese, and come back. No okay. excuses. Number 32. <laughs> Number 32 is ready. OK, sweet. Nice work. Thank you, Mark. It's going to be delicious. I can smell it already. And of course, as I said earlier, the cafe.co.nz. I'll tell you something else we all want, and that's to eat at Mark's restaurant every night. But we get the next best thing is cooking each morning on the show. How's your beef chow mein turned oh, out? Look at that. It's awesome. So this is the hardest part of the recipe, is to actually make it look nice on the plate. Nice. Look at that. Delicious. Beautiful. Somebody order a 32? 32, yes. good memory. <laughs> that looks incredible, smells delicious.